Hi guys, it's Numistaka coming to you this Christmas from sunny, beautiful South Florida and there'll be a few unboxings on my channel over the next few days so uh, let me know what you think as we go along. This first one is from Atmex and I don't really buy very much from Atmex. They make it fairly difficult to, uh, to buy from from the UK but um, this one was a really good price and they've got a few of these on sale and I really wanted to add this one to my collection. I think you can probably see from the box exactly what it is already and uh, if you've seen some of my other videos you'll know that I've got the 2014, 2013, 2010 sets so I didn't really want to not get the 2015 in the series and actually it's a, it's a good price at the moment um, it's about $400 at the moment less than its initial pre-sale price um, from March 2015 and this isn't the first unboxing you'll have seen of these Goldproof Libertads there have been two or three other ones on YouTube um, it's a great set and it's actually better quite often to buy the sets and uh, either keep them as sets or break them out and have them graded but to get the sets rather than the individual coins as uh, you actually get a better price on the set at the moment than the individual coins this year that, is, that isn't the same for 2014 which was a very low mintage year so uh, set number 201 of 500 sets a little bit disappointed with the way Atmex protected this in transit I think they could have done a lot better you can see that um, you know there wasn't any protective um, packing material inside which there usually is in these sets because they have a habit of moving around a lot so uh, you know the COA is in good condition happy with that but the coins um, themselves really should have been better protected um, nothing at all wrong with the coins although you can see a few scuffs on the capsules um, I thought about sending these back because of the scuffs on the capsules but actually probably I'm not going to do that you never know with that mix whether you'll get a better set in replacement uh, I'm going to keep it the coins themselves seem absolutely fine um, very beautiful coins as as always I've seen these one ounce ones there have been sales on eBay of between seventeen hundred and nineteen hundred dollars um, in an NGC capsule the whole set itself is selling at the moment for about twenty seven and a half hundred dollars so actually in some ways you know you're better off um, buying the set at the moment while they're available and they won't be available for very long buying the set and uh, if you want the one ounce coin to take it out have it graded and then sell the other coins in the set and you'll probably get a, a good deal by doing that kind of arbitrage but uh, beautiful coins, 500 of the one ounce in 2015. There were only 250 of these in 2014, and the 2014 sets um, have been going for anything up to $4,000 at the moment. They're, they're, they're the key date, um, so very happy to have the 2014 set. Um, I don't know which size is kind of best if you're just buying one of these. But I, I think probably the best one to buy if you're just going to have one or two of these in your collection is the quarter ounce. Um, I think it, um, it shows better than the, the smaller ones and uh, it's not too expensive to buy. Uh, when Atmex first had these available they had a couple of them and uh, they, were, they, they had them at $444 and I actually bought one at $444. Um, but they've now got them, at least they did when I looked the other day, at about 370 So while they've got them uh, broken out from these sets, 370 I don't think is a price that you'll regret paying in the medium term. And um, it's not totally clear what the upside of these Gold Libertads is, but one thing I am sure of is that the interest in them is getting bigger and bigger every year and I don't think that at these spot prices if you can get the 
gold proofs at a good price, I don't think that you'll lose out by buying these. And uh, and even if you don't gain massively, they're great coins to have in the collection. So there you have it. One ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, tenth and twentieth. Um, and, uh, and they're great. Whether you keep them in the set or have them graded, I don't think with this one it particularly matters. Although, if you keep them in the set, you can always have them graded at some stage later if that's beneficial. Uh, and a lot of people will have them graded, which means that as time goes on, these sets will become rarer and rarer. So, let me know what you think. Um, what do you think of the Gold Proof Libertad for 2015?